What's up Mopar fam? Hope everybody out there is having a fantastic time. So today's video, we have the brand new tire and wheel setup on Frostbite. And I'm not gonna lie, when I gave up my race stars, I really did not feel like I was gonna like these wheels as much. Um, the main reason we got rid of the race stars was these wheels that we have now are much lighter. And that is why I got rid of the race stars. I love race stars the way they look. But now that we have these new wheels on, guys, I'm not going to lie. They look pretty hot damn badass. Um, they're really growing on me. And they just really make the truck stand out. So, little, uh, whoa, I think that's enough right there little whoa don't want to show too much so we're gonna pull the truck right here so we're gonna pull the truck out of the garage and uh i guess we'll show them off so hold tight All right, guys there you go so as most of you guys probably know we have forge stars got rid of the 17 inch race stars and we went with forge star wheels front and back we're running the forge star front runners which is an actual racing wheel to be able to run a legit skinny tire these are 17 inch wheels and we're running the 28 by four and a half inch race master tire and i will say this particular combo tire and wheel weighs exactly 33 pounds that is badass the race star wheel and tire that we was running before came in at 40 seven pounds so we saved a pretty big difference going from the race stars to these and for the back these are the 17 by 10s and we're running the same tire that we had before just these are new ones this is a 315 5017 mickey thompson et street r and the Forge Star 17 by 10 wheels. Now, for the back setup, the difference, we did lose some weight, not a tremendous amount, but it did add up a little bit. So, the old Race Star wheels with these exact tires came in at 66 pounds. This combination, we came in right at 59 pounds, just about 60 pounds. I think it was 59 and a half pounds. So we did lose some weight, not a huge difference like the front, but we did lose some weight and that's all that matters. But tell me what you guys think in the comments about what they look like to you guys. I'm really digging them. I didn't think I was really gonna care much or like the chrome or polished lip, but it's really starting to dig on me guys. It kind of goes with the truck, kind of blends in a little bit with the intercooler and the Torque Storm Supercharger, of course. So, I'm really liking it, guys. Definitely growing on me. And I ended up going with the chrome lug nuts. I was going to do black, but I figured taking wheels and tires off, 
you know, probably a few times, dozen times or whatnot. Black lug nuts were going to just probably get chipped up and screwed up. So I ended up going with the chrome lug nuts. That way maybe they hold up better. And personally, I kind of like it because it gives it a little bit more contrast, something else to look at. And uh, hell yeah. So that is what we went with, guys. Forge Star Wheels. So hot damn hell yeah. There you go. We got Forge Stars. And again, they are growing on me. And I'm really digging these wheels. And honestly, guys, for the price, they are very hard to impossible to beat for a drag setup. These wheels right here, and this is priced to anybody out there pretty much. I ordered these wheels off of dragracingwheels.com and they had a promo. So if you bought a whole set of wheels, you got like, I think it was 60 or $80 off, if I remember. And out the door, shipping, tax, everything. The front wheels and the rear wheels came in at 1040. So $1,040 and we had a complete drag setup race stars especially the dark stars like we had cost a lot more than that again don't get me wrong i like race stars they look legit and they always will but i'll say these four stars definitely look good to, definitely look good as well and they are much lighter and that is what matters to me the most so if you're interested in these wheels, I'll put the link where I got them in the description of the video. Again, it was drag, dragracingwheels.com and they look absolutely badass on the truck. Not gonna lie. Much lighter and they are awesome. Um, they do take different lug nuts than the race stars. The race stars use like the egg corn lug nuts with the washers. Um, sometimes race stars are a pain in the ass to get the wheel and everything lined up and torqued down. Um, I will say the Forge Stars, after some experience now, these are actually much easier to get on. Um, they use a regular tapered type lug nut. Um, that does require a special tool like a tuner lock nut. But it's a tapered lug nut, more or less kind of like how the factory design works. So they go on much easier no doubt about that i am definitely loving that part the race stars was a pain in the ass to get off and on but hell yeah guys there you go i'm happy with the wheels looks sick i can't wait to get a pass down the drag strip with them and see how much we knock off the et i'm thinking we're going to be good for at least another tenth or two possibly we got a skinnier tire less rolling resistance less weight front and back so i think we're going to knock off at least a couple tents possibly which would be absolutely awesome so i think that's going to do it for the video today as always guys stay safe out there make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss anything in the future and we'll see you guys on the next one peace